I'm Tia Born with Mining IR, and joining me is Brendan Haynes, CEO of Aeonian Resources. Brendan, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Are great. you enjoying this this heat? Yes, great to be in Miami. <laughs> you, you look the part. Thank you. I would have thought uh, you lived here. I was inspired by Miami Vice and, and your logo. <laughs> Good. I know. I love. I like the backdrop for this one. This is beautiful. Yes. It's fun. It now, is. Now, give us a bit of background on the company. Uh, yes, Aeonian Resources uh, was incorporated in 2019 by our geologist and founder, Andy Randall. Andy is a, a Brit that moved here and um, was originally a paleontologist, but realized that there's more money in uh, exploration and geology than dinosaur bones. So, I believe that. Yes. Um, fascinating guy, um, very involved in, our, in the community. He lives up near Cranbrook. He's currently actually taking... Um, uh, language courses for Taha Nation to learn to be able to speak the first language, for oh, wow. local First Nations language adjoining our property. So we're uh, very excited about that endeavor. Um, What's Cranbrook like as a mining jurisdiction? It's great. I mean, there's the old Sullivan Mine, but there is a real large stake of uh, sedimentary hosted copper. And that's what Aeonian is about, is sedimentary hosted copper. We have a 250 square kilometer uh, land package called the Kukanusa, and it sits on the Purcell Basin trend with the Sullivan um, or the, uh, the other merging uh, trends next to it. Uh, sorry, the names are escaped me That's right okay. now. But the main one is the Purcell Basin. Uh, if you follow that down to Montana, about 150 miles south, you'll hit the Metnor and the Troy mine, which were also sedimentary hosted. Sedimentary hosted copper is cheaper to um, explore and drill mm -hmm. than uh, porphyry style. The grades tend to be high, and there's only 14 of those mines in the world. So there, it's, a, it's a different type of a system. Um, with this project, uh, as he's a sedimentary hosted geologist, he was able to see that it had the potential for a um, you know, pre-feasibility in the next coming years. Uh, with the size of the deposit that's there. It, uh, the trend we have is 20 kilometers with 2 to 3 percent grades. Puts us in with the, uh, the other mines in the, in the kind of percentage and tonnage that we would need. Um, the company is currently private, but moving forward we have a IPO set for this summer. Uh, we're signing uh, a brokered IPO next month and we look to be up in trading around September. Uh, summer, September. We are using the symbol AEON on the CSC. Um, Brandon, what are some catalysts that investors should be aware of? A uh, catalyst for us is that obviously the, the new listing is coming. So right now um, shares are available and units at, at a very inexpensive cost. Uh, the pre-IPO is still offering and then uh, Lee Jones Gable will be taking over on the brokered side. Um, the upside for investors is that there will be low shares outstanding of approximately only 25 million out. Uh, Five million of that is held by the board. Um, that's the projected um, full, full uh, shares out at that time uh, upon listing. But um, another catalyst would be that uh, copper is trending up. Um, battery metals are, are, are the rage right now, and so we're, we are in line with the, um, with the current trends. Um, the project is 100% owned by Aeonian, so no third-party payments to make to any other vendor, and thereby it allows us to uh, do low-cost, high-yield um, drilling and work. Yeah. Brandon, can you tell us about the team? Obviously, um, all success comes from a strong team. Can you sh yes. tell us what the backgrounds are of your team members? Sure. Uh, as I mentioned before, our founder is Andy Randall. Uh, our, he's our geologist that pieced together the property. Um, he runs uh, Geostrata Hive. At, um, he's worked with many other um, mining companies on multiple programs, so he's well experienced. During, um, during COVID particularly, he was assembling the land package for Kukanusa. Um, what he was able to see through some legacy documents and old uh, diaries and, and log notes from, from former geologists is that most people were exploring the Cranbrook region for gold, but we were focused on um, copper because it was tended to be overlooked. Uh, the rest of the team would be myself. I've been in the markets now for 25 years. I was in finance as a broker. Um, I ran a uh, capital company that helped other companies go public. And I've um, 
been CEO of another public company uh, currently still trading at this time. Brandon, what separates Aeonian from other junior mining companies? What separates Aeonian from other junior mining companies is that we are in the Purcell Basin in the Cranbrook region where it is an up and coming um, area play. Uh, it, it's not as focused as other classic copper uh, regions. Uh, most people are porphyry style uh, focused and so we have a unique niche where we are sedimentary in, in Cranbrook. Um, it, it's an area that at one time was popular with the Sullivan Mine, but I think there's going to be a resurgence in the Cranbrook region. And what are you looking forward to most for the coming year? Uh, obviously getting trading on the, on the exchange. Uh, secondly, um, being able to do a large-scale exploration, um, have the budget for that, and, and be able to do a program this summer on Kukanusa. We look to expand the trend that's 20 kilometers and, and see how big it is, be able to get a, a sense of what size of the, the project is um, uh, copper mineralogy and, uh, and the, uh, the depth of it. And is there anything else you'd like to leave our investors with? Uh, yes, if you, um, if you would like to reach them, I'm available, uh, or if anybody's interested in asking further questions. Um, for investors, we appreciate your support. There's a lot of options out there in mining at this time, a lot of great projects that are um, undervalued, and um, every, every interested person in the property is obviously, uh, you know, we, we appreciate that greatly. Brandon, thank you so much for joining You're me You're welcome. Today. Thank you.